Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. How is everybody doing today? A rainy day here in the Philippines. I am inside. The lights are off. I can't believe the camera's working fine. Give me some light. Uh, not because we have power. We have plenty of power. Uh, and I have my solar. But anyway, I want to talk about this today. Toxic pesticides found in residents there in Davao City and anywhere where there's uh, uh, pineapple plantations. The this news comes out of the newspaper and they were talking about in general that the tra traces of highly toxic pesticides were found and some of these pesticides have been outlawed for years. <coughs> Pyrethroid uh, were detected in uh, samples and how they found this out is they did urine samples of, of residents living around these. This has been going on. The Koreans, this is done by a Korean study and they found that you know, urine samples uh, collected from residents there in the pineapple plantations, even in Baguio, uh, Malaya, Balai, all throughout the Philippines where there's plantations of um, uh, pesticides. They use pesticides and that there's affecting there a lot of the dust samples and uh, uh, urine samples of residents live in 20 to 30 mile radius and it's in the water. So I was, I'm putting this out to people to kind of help people along that maybe are uh, thinking about moving near a plantation and things like that, that is something that I did think about, I have to tell you. But I come from the pesticide industry. Uh, back in the day, that company I worked for, they were uh, manufacturing some pesticides and things like that. But we, and as you know, they're, they're farmers living in rural districts, the rights for clean air, they were looking at uh, some of the diazon, malathion, uh, Perithion. This stuff is outlawed in the United States of America. You can't even buy it. It's outlawed here, but people are putting it down on the ground. Uh, both dust and urine samples. So it's in the water. It's in it's people that are sick and wondering why people are getting sick. Uh, they were taken to, taken from residents within 30, uh, 30 to 40 mile meter radius compared to people's living within 500 mile, 500 meter radius and they all came up with the same uh, effects. Uh, stress that environmental advocates are alarmed because what it is is it's like the farmers are actually putting down to get rid of the uh, uh, weeds and many other things you know that's in the in the thing. It's the same old story. It's the same in U.S. Uh, they're looking at headache, diarrhea, Parkinson's disease, wondering why there's so much cancer uh, it's actually affecting a lot of children. Uh, and what made them think about this study was done by the government asked uh, the K Korean development uh, to come over and do some studies. Now this study has been done 10 years, 10 years. And the results are anywhere, any, anywhere, anywhere there's a uh, dole plantation of, not necessarily dole, but a plantation of uh, pineapple. They're the main supplier of pineapple anyway. Uh, pineapple, banana, uh, lemons, or they're, they're called the little limes, the little limes. Um, same thing on tomato, tomato farms, uh, cabbage, cabbage farms, the big producers that have that. So I'm putting this out there to, to everybody that be careful on the water. Even my filtration system, I wonder if it takes out the cert, certain pesticides or certain chemical in that. I would think that it would, but I, what do I know? You know, I mean, what do I know? So make sure you have your water tested where you're at. Make sure you know exactly what's going on, meaning what you're taking in. It is no different here than it is in the States. The same thing in the States. That's the reason why I would never drink, even though I drank the water there in Daytona Beach and in the land and all the places I lived and out of the faucet. What made me realize it one day is, is I wasn't feeling well and I thought maybe it was water and come to find out something completely different. But then I started realizing I'm just going to drink the bottled water. Well, even the bottled water manufacturers, where they're getting that bottled water, like Zephyr Hills Water, uh, Nestle Water, places like that down out of Miami, the, a lot of those are tested and they have filtration systems on there, but a lot of times we don't really know where our water is, is coming from. But I'm just telling the guys that are living here, Make sure you do your due diligence and take the time to look at that. I mean, I looked at the study. I, I was like, I could not believe. 
the alarming thing that really alarmed me most was that uh, it actually it it cor uh, contaminates the food, the food that you're eating. The food is contaminated because of that in the ground. So it goes. It can go to other countries. It can go further, further. So they can cause headache, diarrhea. Uh, Non-government organizations in <clears throat> Vietnam, Malaysia, Philippines have been uh, tapped by this particular study, and they're, so they're doing a the study in all these areas. Uh, they 700 samples uh, just in a certain area in Baguio, Malai Balai, uh, down here in Cotabato, and other areas down in Dumaguete. They found that the the uh, pesticides were being used at these high risk pesticides. Uh, uh, diazinon. If you guys don't know what this stuff is, melathion. Uh, if you uh, let me put it this way, if you put that on the ground, the only thing will grow will be your plant, and nothing else will grow. Uh, it, it is a deadly. Uh, we used to use it back in the day for killing termites, um, especially per, uh, uh, traces perathion. We used to use that killing termites. And the same thing, melathion. Uh, it's great termite killer. It'll kill anything. Ants. You want to treat something around a property. That's what you would treat, and you wouldn't have ants or any kind of termites or anything in your house or anything for 20, 30, 40 years. It would actually kill any kind of bugs, cockroaches, anything will not come into your property. But then again, too, it affects, goes into the groundwater and affects the groundwater we're drinking. And um, the study was done recently. Uh, let me see here. When was the study done? Uh, December 2022. 22, December 2022. Um, and the article came out in February the 20th, 2023. So it just came out. This article is from uh, uh, Mindanao News. If you guys are interested and want to see the article, you're more welcome to, and I'll share it to anybody. But uh, uh, workers uploaded fresh pineapples uh, in Davo. Uh, from a, a corporation there that they sell a lot of it and of course Baguio uh, district uh, there's a lot of plantations kind of all over as you guys know Dole what they do is they come and they'll buy property and lease the property and then uh, when that property becomes sterile and no good they'll lease another property my brother-in-law was approached by them uh, back last year to uh, lease property for them and they pay they pay very well for the property and they pay on time and they lease the property for uh, 10 years, 20 years, depending. And they want to lease this property for him to put pineapple on it. And he turned them down because of that reason. Uh, he knew what would happen because it's gotten around in time that the big farmers have been leasing their property to them and made lots of money. But sometimes the property itself is actually dormant for a few years after where they can even grow anything, can't even grow corn on it. So. You just have to really be careful of drinking the water here. And I just want to tell the guys out there that if you're here, I don't really care what you do. If you're having a mango shake, if you're having ice in that mango shake, if you're having anything, make sure you find out what you're drinking and where the source is. If you're drinking at TGI Fridays, that's where I caught the typhoid, by the way, TGI Fridays. Uh, I, I asked the girl, I said, if you don't mind me uh, asking, is this fresh water? Is this, uh, uh, you know, treated water? So I, I don't want water that out of the tap. I want treated water. Yes, yes. Well, as you know, being American, sometimes they miss some truth. Yeah, it's good water. Water's good. You can drink it. And that's how she took it. Well, I drank it. As I go to the bathroom, I saw filters on the wall, water filters, from Ecolab, and which, that's my old company. So I'm going... And I looked at the dates on them. They're back there 15 years ago, uh, the dates on those, because Ecolab has a code. And so those filters not being changed out for 15 years. I said, oh boy, hope I, hope I, I hope they gave me fresh water out of the back. So uh, I sent an email to my old compadres there. He said, yeah, we, we used to send a lot. Of, nobody even orders filters anymore because it's corporate accounts. These, these are corporate accounts. These are... These are when the restaurant was being built, and they put all that stuff in and just never keep up the, the, to the franchise deal. So uh, long story short, anyway, I got sick, and um, that was my uh, uh, 
that was my thing. And a reason why I knew that it was from there is because it didn't happen one day or two days or three days or four days. As you know, ty typhoid is a thing that kind of gathers on. I started getting symptoms and then getting fever. Four to five, six days later, seven days later, I was sicker than a dog and come to find out. I had nothing different anywhere else. I had nothing different here. I've been drinking the water here through the uh, uh, my my uh, system here. So I knew my water was good here. And that was the only water I had because I was dying of thirst. I usually order bottled water, but the bottled water they had there were not cold. They had power problems and it was not cold. So make sure you guys really take a, a good thought. And all I'm doing is, this should go on my Healthy Lifestyle channel, but I'm just telling the guys, please be safe. Just think about the water uh, because you never know where that water is coming from. And uh, a simple thing is water can ruin your life forever. And uh, I did not know this but once you have typhoid you have typhoid in the virus in your body forever symptoms can come up like uh, the doctor told me you're going to have symptoms that come up that uh, can easily get you into the typhoid it's like dinghy it never leaves your body and there's times where i'm just sick i've never been sick never i mean i've had flu and things I mean, I went. I I can remember ten years, fifteen years, never flu, nothing, nothing, nothing. I come here, it's like I got more ailments than Carter's got liver pills. So it's like, oh my goodness, because you have to be so careful with your uh, the environment you're in. It's like being in Mexico. They always tell you never drink the water. Well, that is true. Never drink the water there, and you sure in the heck don't drink the water here. I got guys telling me they drink the water here, and they wonder why a year later they're in the hospital or two years later in the hospital. The guy told me I'm in the hospital. Why? So that's another story. That's a completely other story. I could tell you stories. So I want to thank everybody so much for always watching my channel, and so don't drink the water. God bless.